for instance, I had s- several young men who basically caught COVID and then developed uh, severe mania. Wow. Severe. Yeah. Like, even to the point where we would give them strong antipsychotics and mm-hmm. it really wouldn't help them too wow. much, which didn't really make sense. Yeah. And because usually when you give them an antipsychotic, especially a stronger one, you'll sedate them so hard that mm-hmm. that they really are not functioning, but they're not manic anymore. Yeah. And we're talking, we're not talking manic just being hyper. We're talking manic like doing things, staying up three or four or five days in a row, yeah. getting arrested, doing things that are not quite yeah, right. Out of so it didn't yeah. feel right. Something didn't feel right. And we found out, wound up finding out that three of these young men had had autoantibodies to the dopamine receptor one, mm-hmm. okay? And that dopamine receptor is kind of notorious for causing psychiatric disease. Mm-hmm. So I I wound up sending them to some other facilities um, uh, to do plasmapheresis, and it wound up improving them. 